EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for May 25th, 2022. It is Wednesday, and the Wednesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by the Walters and Zrinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate, serving Carbon, Lehigh, and Northampton counties in eastern Pennsylvania. Lehigh Valley's real estate prices have never been higher and, in fact, are at all-time record highs. At the same time, current real estate inventory is at a record low. Properties are most often selling well above asking price and buyers are agreeing to pay over appraised value on many of those transactions. If you're curious about what your property is currently worth, call Mike and Sarah for a free market analysis and find out what sets them apart in the real estate industry. They can be reached at 610-867-8888. Proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. Okay, so today is actually a little bit better than I think our local forecasts are showing. We have partly to mostly cloudy skies listed in the local forecast. If you go on our website, go to the different regions, partly to mostly cloudy is what we have. However, uh, I do think there's the opportunity to see a little bit more sun than we banked for today. So one of those bank error in your favor type deals today. Uh, we had this system that was yesterday uh, bringing the clouds to the region that is now off to our southeast. This was a lot closer yesterday. At the same time, we have uh, high pressure that is in the uh, Gulf of Maine, but it's a little bit further east and elongated. See this right here? It's kind of elongated right here. Uh, so that is uh, means that the influence of that high pressure is not going to be quite as strong with the onshore flow. It's a little bit too far east. Normally, you'd want this to be right here, and if you wanted that, uh, that onshore flow marine influence to get those partly to mostly cloudy skies. So why am I bringing this up? Well, we have a... Uh, if you look over the, over the new NAM this evening, this is the cloud cover this morning. We'll have uh, mostly cloudy skies across most of the region, across the interior, starting just off at 6 a.m. I move this forward, though. Look what happens. Clouds clear out, and then you have uh, partly to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. So it might actually turn out to be a little bit better today. So keep your fingers crossed on that. Temperatures will be a little bit milder yes to today versus yesterday. Still an onshore wind flow, however, so the areas in the shore points are still going to be closer to the middle 60s today, closer to the shore points. Once you get in the interior, though, temperatures, temperatures will get up into the lower, lower to middle 70s today with more sunshine expected, okay? So now uh, everyone wants to know what's going to happen for the weekend. Yesterday I gave you a 70-30 figure 70 percent against a four day uh or most of the weekend being ruined by by this uh, upper level trailing, trailing upper level low and i'm still holding to that today so uh somebody asked me this on on uh i believe it was on twitter yeah it was on twitter yesterday they asked me you know are you changing your projections actually several people asked me that no i don't think so the reason we got to this point with this business is because we made the bold calls. We went out on a limb and we made a call and we stuck with it. If it's if it's evident that we're going to be wrong with that projection, then we'll change it. We'll adjust, okay? But right now, I don't think there's a reason to change that because the weekend as a whole, the four-day weekend, if you start from fr uh, from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we always said Friday was going to be uh, you know, the day we're going to have the cold front move through. After that point, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. So let's run through this. This is the European model today. Uh, on Thursday, we're going to have that same remnant system that was uh, off to our southeast. It's going to be off to our southeast today. It's going to move back northward and may top, touch off a little shower here as it does. So the NAM has that here on Thursday morning. This is looking at 11 a.m. Uh, Timestamps in the upper right-hand corner, as I always have here in these videos. As they move this forward, though, you got a little couple little showers that could pop, pop up during the afternoon and maybe early evening. Just quickly running through here. Not a real big deal here, but you could get a quick shower, spritz, whatever. Okay, not a not a huge deal, but there is the opportunity for that as that system pulls off to the north. It's being lifted uh, off to the north by the incoming cold front. Now there is still, the cold front is here, and you still have an upper level low. It's hard to see, but it's right here. Here's your upper level low that is behind that cold front. That will have to swing through, and we think that's going to do so on Saturday. I don't think this is going to be something that's going to ruin your Sunday and Monday. I don't. Uh, and even Saturday, too. So we can move through here on Friday. Uh, this is Friday uh, morning, early afternoon. During the afternoon and evening, you have the opportunity for scattered showers and thunderstorms. And this might come in rather late. It might be late in the day so that most of Friday is not a wash either. That's uh, starting to trend in that direction with the uh, shorter range guidance as well. So if that's the case... At least the first half of Friday is dry until the cold front moves through. Then you get scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, 
some of you have been asking me about severe weather. Severe weather is possible with this, but I think it's a very marginally severe situation. I don't think it's going to be a widespread severe deal because on Monday, even though there's not going to be any rain or may not be any rain the first half of Friday, you're still going to be mostly cloudy. So that's good. the clouds are going to put a lid and a damper, I think, on severe weather. It will be a little bit warmer ahead of this front on Friday, however. We're going to have temperatures that are going to get up to the upper 70s to near 80 for highs on Friday ahead of this because you have a southwesterly wind flow. Uh, but I don't expect a widespread severe weather. You could have a little, uh, couple of robust cells in there to get a little bit stronger than the average garden variety thunderstorms. But I think most of them are going to be garden variety as they move through. But there is definitely support for thunderstorms with this uh, particular cold front moving through. That cold front moves through during the evening and clears out overnight. Clears out. Okay, so this, this cold front's off the coast. You still have the upper level low behind it right here, but it is not very pronounced. Okay, and it's going to lift off to the north and east. And then during the day on Saturday, you have a partly cloudy start or variably cloudy start on on uh, on Saturday. And then you have the opportunity for an isolated thunderstorm later in the day. Okay, this is the same thing you're going to see on the GFS. I'm showing the European model here. GFS is showing the same thing now. Okay, so that's not a real big deal. It's not a wash on Saturday. Yes, you can get a thunderstorm in spots on Saturday. Uh, but it would be just a, a quick in and out type thing is what it's looking like. And then uh, that could, that threat of which goes through very early evening on Saturday. So it was kind of be like a mid-afternoon, maybe like a 2 to 8 window on Saturday, okay, for that storm. And then here's Sunday. Nothing, okay? Here's Monday. Nothing. So the European model is holding that idea. Let's see what the GFS has. Here's the cold front, right? Moves through. You get the break. And then you have isolated to maybe scattered thunderstorms here in the afternoon and early evening. And then here's Sunday. Nothing. Here's Monday. Nothing. Okay, so we're trending in the right direction with the holiday weekend as a whole. So I'm still holding that 70-30 idea that this upper level low is not going to be captured out here and just slowly swing through the region like the GFS was trying to sell uh, as recent as yesterday. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think it's going to be something that's going to be sitting and ruining the entire holiday weekend. Now, if you want to argue that Saturday wasn't, you know, it, it is still going to have some in spots, some precipitation, okay, great. But the, the, the entirety of the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday as a whole, is not bad at all, especially Sunday and Monday. And Sunday, Monday are going to get back into the 80s, it looks like. We're going to get temperatures 80 or above. And then uh, once we head to Tuesday to round out this seven-day forecast period, we're looking at... Uh, temperatures well into the 80s. We're going to be in the uh, mid to upper 80s for highs on Tuesday. So overall, not really that bad, okay? Uh, I know it's not the most ideal situation. We'd rather have, a, if you're looking at the entire Memorial Day holiday weekend as a four-day window, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, Friday's not so great, right? Okay, but at least for the second half of the day, it's not. So, uh, Saturday's really not as bad as Friday. You have the same thing. Some sun out here in the day on during the day on Saturday, and then you have a uh, afternoon and early evening threat for a thunderstorm, but not everywhere. Okay, and then Sunday and Monday are fine. Okay, and then we get back in the 80s again. So overall, not bad. Uh, we'll continue to update this throughout the week here as we approach this. Hopefully, we're fine tuning at that point. We'll start getting the NAM in range, which is not currently in max range just yet. Uh, so tomorrow, I should have a little bit better information. And actually, each day going forward up through Thursday, we'll have a better idea of everything through the full scope of the holiday weekend at that point. But I don't think this is something that's going to ruin the entire four days with an upper level low just sitting here and giving you all kinds of rain like the GFS was trying to sell yesterday. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for May 25th, 2022. Have a great Wednesday.